name is David, and I'm here to tell you about security on your wireless system. First off, why security is important to have. When you don't have a secured system, people can drive up, uh, especially hackers or anything of that sort, or even your next door neighbor can be sitting in their house, and if you have a wireless network available, they can have access to everything on your system. Without having a security code on there, it makes it that much easier. Now, first thing that you want to be able to do is when you get a security, you got to decide, do you want it to be in web format, which is an alphanumeric type, type format, where you can use the letters A through J and one through zero. When you do that, you got to make sure that it's something usually that you can remember, but you don't think anybody else would figure out. So you don't want to use your home address or your initials or things of that sort where it'd be very easy for somebody driving down the street to be able to figure out. Now the other form that you can use is WPA. From there it is a more secure because you can use any letter in the alphabet you want but it can also be less secure because a lot of people from there have the tendency to use just their own names. And like once again if somebody is coming down and they want to steal your information and they see that your network is secured, they are a little bit more likely from my experience to see drive on until they find a unsecured network. Now also there's a few different levels of security you can have within the web and I want to show you that now. Alright now here you see uh, we have a 64-bit encryption key with the web. Now this one you can use A through J or 0 through 9. This is a 10-digit key or it's also known as a 5-digit hexadecimal which means for every two digits is one hexadecimal. So if you have A1, that is one hexadecimal. Next you have the 128-bit encryption, which is 26 digits or 13 hexadecimal. And then finally you have a choice of 256-bit encryption, which is 29, digit, or 29 hexadecimal or 58 digits. Now, here you can see that you have an option to be able to set up four different web keys here. Now the only one that you'll be able to use is whichever one you have selected here. Like right now I have key number two. Now in no way is this actually a key because as you can tell I have letters outside of A through J and there's also spaces. With the web keys you cannot have any spaces in there. Next I want to show you is what a WPA key looks like.